I was messaged everywhere to look at this new crystal card. Like, I was messaged on Discord, I was messaged on Skype, I was messaged on whatnot. And what do I see in the end? It's a level 9 Crystron Synchro Monster. A level 9 Crystron Synchro Monster. As if we would need another level 9 sy Synchro Monster in Crystron. Well, let's just talk about it, alright? Hello everyone, it's Akatris here, and today I want to talk to you guys about Crystron Gleon Gunder, the new Synchro Monster. As I said, this, this monster is level 9 Synchro. It is a water machine type, as every Crystron monster, and it requires 2 or more tuners plus 1 non tuner monster. If this card is Synchro Summon, you can target monsters your opponent controls or in the graveyard equal to the number of Synchro materials used on this card Synchro Summon. Banish those monsters. If this Synchro Summon card is destroyed by Battle by Card Effect, you can target one banished monster except this card special summon that monster. So those effects are quite basic and easy to understand, so I don't have much to talk about the effects and how they work in general. The first effect is basically a mass removal, because it removes at least three cards from a game, like banish. It banishes three cards from a field or the graveyard. So graveyard effects will not apply, as the cards are not hitting the grave if you banish them from the field. So this is pretty good against stuff like blue eyes, so they cannot um, recycle their alternative or their other blue eyes cards. This is also pretty good against stuff like... Um, yeah, this is basically good against stuff that can do stuff in the graveyard, like shuttle, infernoid, and whatnot. Like, ouch. I just hit myself. Um, <laughs> so this card, this effect is quite good, so you banish at least three cards. This is nice. Its second effect can special summon any banished monster on destruction, it's because of its wording. Normal cards which we, uh, which are doing something with banished cards are saying you can target one of your banished monsters or stuff, like uh, Shira Nui Solitaire has that effect. This card says you can target one banished monster. This is, this is basically worded like Chaos Zone, so you can also special summon one of your opponent's banished monsters. And this definitely collides with the first effect, because you can just banish your opponent's boss monster and summon it back for yourself. Like, you destroy Gleon Gunder with whatever, Zalfafnir, and special summon your opponent's boss monster. Or you just leave Gleon Gunder on the field and as soon as they destroy it, you get their boss. This is a really, really, really ridiculous effect, and I really like it. So, this is something very, very good. But the down points of this card are that it requires at least two tuners, and it is limited to one non-tuner. This is very hard to achieve in, Cri in Crystron, but very easy to achieve in stuff like Synchron. And it's also not what Crystron needed. But let's stick to the first point at first. So you can summon Gleon Gunner using Crystron Entry and a, f uh, and a fitting monster on the field. But you need Crystron Entry, you need a tune on the graveyard, and you need a tune on the hand to do that. And also you need a level 3, 4 or 5 monster to actually pull that uh, on the field or banished for impact to pull it off. So this is like pretty resource intense and it can take a while until you can take this card. Uh, bring this card out, although Crystron has a very very good resource management, which should really not to be underestimated, but still you need entry and you need the first effect of entry to actually get this card out, so this is kind of a big down point. As I said, it is not what Crystron needed, it still uh, is a level 9 monster and we wanted kind of a level 6 synchro, so Rion would be less useless, but like this, Rion will remain useless as fuck. Also, it's not up to the number of Synchro Materials for the Banish effect, but it is equal to the number. So if your opponent doesn't have three monsters on the field or, ban uh, or on the graveyard, you cannot use this effect. So this is not like Trishula, where you can just take cards from one um, location or two locations if they don't have cards in three locations and banish them. No, this card is basically saying you have to banish free or you banish none. So that is kinda a down point. But yeah, this is like everything negative I have to say about Crystal Leon Yonder, which is kinda hilarious, right? So let's go on for the um, conclusion. 
In the end, I really believe that Leon Gunder is a very, very good card, and it's really, really strong, but it just doesn't help Crystron. Crystron needed a level 6 Synchro monster to make Rion a bit more playable, because as it is right now, Rion can only summon Crystron Armatrix efficiently, and Exosynchron if you play it. You can play Exosynchron, I... I really don't judge you for that because Exosynchron is a good card, but you can only summon Crystron Amatrix well with this card or Power and Insectron. But Power and Insectron is a card you most likely don't want to play because it is not a disruption type card, it's just a, uh, a card which makes the duel a bit longer. So it doesn't actually actively help you, which is a bad thing because you want, you need help, active help. And we kinda needed a level 6 Crystron Synchro for that. For Rion, because in the end it's not worth it to sh uh, shuffle a, ben a, a banished Tristvern or something into the deck for Powered Insectron. It's just not worth it. I I believe we can uh, we'll be able to see Gleon Gunder in uh, in Synchrons or Blackwing more than in Crystron itself, because well Gleon Gunder still is generic. It doesn't have like specific needs for its materials, it just needs two tuners and one non-tuner monster at least. So you can special uh, you can use it in any synchro deck really. But Crystrons have a really hard time getting it out. Like you really you you mostly depend on the Crystron entry because you rarely have the fitting other cards on the field. You can set it up, but most of the time it's not as good. So I don't really believe in this card as a synchronous monster because of this, because of the two, a two tuner thing. Well, if it was one tuner, you can you could summon it with, um, yeah, Q and Dom and Safafni or Q and Dom and Amatrix, like you special summon Phoenixion, which is also rarely ever made. But how it is right now, it's kind of hard to summon Crystron itself. So you will see it in many decks, but not really in the archetype it was actually designed for, as the summoning conditions are kind of ridiculous for this deck. However, it can still be summoned in the opponent's turn using Kiwanda and Cedria in a level 3 monster. Well, you, you use Crystal Entry to get Kiwanda and Cedria out, the level 3 monster is the last thing you need. So 6 plus 3 is 9, and you get it in the opponent's turn, which can actually have a very big impact. And you can use it in your turn using Kiwan Rion and South Fafnir or C3 Rion in Rosenix. So you have uses for Rion, but like Kiwan and plus C3 is, uh, is a way better combo because you don't need a specific third card. You only have two cards which are specific, and the third card can either be Smogger or Frisburn. And I'm pretty sure that it's mostly Smogger because you banish Smogger to uh, add impact to your hand, set impact, and you do it just with entry and impact. So this is what I believe, and yeah, this is what I basically think about, about Gleon Gunder. Gleon Gunder is a very, very good card, and I think I'll take the pros and cons back. So Gleon Gunder is, a, in my opinion, a very, very good card, but it's just not the thing that Chris Trump wanted. And I hope that, uh, although I know that Chris Trump is done after this card, because Metalfoe also only got three cards in um, uh, Invasion of Ven uh, Invasion of Vengeance, and for Junichi, she only three monsters are missing, so they'll be most likely only get three cards in Fusion Enforcers. If Fusion Enforcers even in the last pack, uh, so you know what I mean. So this is the last Crystron card, but maybe we get some machine type synchros which are more worth our time. But in the end, I wanna still. Let the fact remain that Crystron Gleon Gunder is an insanely good card, just not a Crystron. And that has been everything from me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, um, please tell me your opinion about this card in the comments, because I want to know your opinion as well. I hope this helped you a bit to understand Crystron a bit more, because I think I still have to do a better job at that. But you can just watch my streams to learn Christron a bit because I stream every Sunday and yeah this has been Akatrius and stay Raven